Hi guys, welcome back to Get Fucked by the Reapers. Down there, that's where we came in. Getting close to the end. But I want collector technology. This might be useful. Tech damage. We're gonna wreck these reapers today. Uh, this is a really bad idea, which is why I'm gonna do this. They have the high ground. <laughs> Doesn't the Harbinger have something better to do? I mean, I, he's right, I really can't resist. Look at that. Sexy abs on the Carbinger. Alright, we got him. Oh. Uh, this is the other weapon. I mean, we used the, the heavy weapon at the time we should have, so. Fuck, is this guy for real? Okay, maybe this is... Fuck. Alright, well... <laughs> our Avenger was just about to go into him. Ah, uh, to add insult to injury. This is why you don't do stupid strategies, kids. Problem is, like, this is the only flanking route I have. It's not a bad flanking rad. Fuck, I missed. Hey, Garrus, you wanna get this one? I don't mind, I got it. Fuck, I always bring out this thing, because it was the last one I used. Alright, we're gonna have to Fuck your shield. Okay, you know, those shields are like way too strong. If only we had some kind of tech or biotics to deal with that. Did everyone getting wrecked by that? Yeah, Harbinger just got my two teammates. And they didn't even do put a dent in Harbinger. Pixel sniping, yeah. Fuck. What? How did that not kill him? Do I not have the ammo on it? No, I do. I probably should put some sink some more points in that, but I did the other stuff. Uh, for some reason, they haven't woken up yet. Scion. Mother. I know you feel this. Yeah, I do. I feel nothing but this regret. Is what you face. Probably should bring out something better for shields. Your form is fragile. Nice cover. Nothing stands against us. I've got no shields. <laughs> Okay, we have problems. Okay, there's auto aim. We are your genetic destiny. Okay, who the hell is hitting me? Collector drone down there. We need to not seem to really care about that. Yeah. 
All right, we almost got him. I also want to mention this is not how heat sinks work. Alright. Something is very wrong with science these days. I mean, they're just damage sponges, but they, they're damage sponges that also do no damage anymore. Like, look at this shit. Am I hitting its head? I think it's the head. Is it the middle? Maybe it's the middle. Maybe I should use this too. Let me just use all the ammunition in the world. Fuck, let's just use this. It's actually mildly effective against armor. Good thing we went to incinerate. Honestly, I can't think of another class I'd rather play this game as, honestly. Alright, good. Allies are awake. Man, if only this was a squad game where you had, like, allies to help you out. Well, too bad it's not like that. Oh, hi, Garrus. I don't know where you came from. He, he's just my... He's just Ken, Ken my co-op partner right there. You know. He dies and then I have to finish the game. <laughs> I mean, they were fighting Harbinger, but they were doing it extremely badly, so... I mean. Commander, I hate to rush you, but those weapons are about to come online. Might want to double-time it, you know, so we can leave before they blow the Normandy in half. That sounds like a suicide mission. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Also, why do these guys explode all of a sudden? Oh, fuck. The guys, I'm in the corner. I think I know. Fuck. I'm getting wrecked. Look at this non conformist. Alright, guys, I have the strat. No, that's not the strat. Shit. Oh no, more than dead. Okay. No, oh, fuck, it's still not the strat. Alright. Here's the strat. What the fuck? What? What? This is why third person cameras suck. Okay. So one guy is kicking my ass. Guess we'll just continue this. Apparently flashbang doesn't work well against us. Guys, fire and run away. I think Garrus got overwhelmed. Yeah, I can still hear Garrus in my dreams sometimes, but he's dead. If you close your eyes, you can hear him firing an attack shot. Looks like we're kind of winning. Do these things drop ammunition? Let me guess no. All right, let's go back. Coming. That was Morden. Why is Morden just taking a nap there? Oh well. If only I had Medigel to spare. I need the credits. What's more important, 100 credits or reviving Morden? And the answer is 100 credits. Fuck, really? Dude, his eyes are open too. Look at that. He's not dead. Uh, I'm sure there's more down here.
Yeah, so this is the problem with having sprint and everything be the one button is I just skipped uh, some sort of dialogue there. I'll see if I can find it and maybe just paste it in. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Cut the act. You set us up, and you better have a damn good reason for it. We needed information on the Omega-4 relay. That required direct access to collector data. It was too good an opportunity to pass up. Agreed. But I don't like surprises, especially when my ass is on the line. I put you at risk, yes. But without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. You have one job. Information. If I can't trust your intel, you're useless to me. It's never that simple. You of all people should know that. I know that I'll be a lot more careful. With the Collectors, and with you. This is no time for petty grudges. Things are about to get a lot tougher. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the Relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it. But we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. Aren't brown dwarves basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I only believe you because I doubt you'd repeat yourself so soon. It's no less a risk, Shepard. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the Collector databanks. Necessary risk. He tries something like that again, and the Collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is gonna work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld, based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. 
could be an artificial construction, space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy, and we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays in the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later, we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Finally, we can get back to Side Quest Simulator. All right, but where where is this save? I wonder. Ah, uh, already brings me. Restart mission. Well, I mean, I I think this brings me back over there some somewhere, but yeah, I'll try and get that cutscene. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about that now. Oh, operative. Let's do that. We're almost full on our other stuff, so... Um, <clears throat> let me have a look here. Yeah, uh, we, we don't know that guy. Alright, these girls want to talk yet. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. What the hell? You did the buddy act when you had the gun on the server scientist. That's tombs. Ah, uh, I don't know who this guy is. Whatever. Maybe it's some guy I saved before. I'm sorry, my mate. I leave your you for a Krogan because you're not in doubt as good for your species. Ah, uh, it's a uh, dick enhancement. Uh Alarhan. Not sure who this guy is. Han Olar. Ah. Uh, Detective Anya. And uh, we, we dealt with Samara. Oh, I see. She's just thanking me for my shit and sending me emails. Alright. Do you guys want to talk yet? Fuck it. We'll go see what he wants himself. Because someone was yelling at me to go talk to Garrus. He's doing calibrations. Rupert, something different with tonight's mail. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. We've heard this one before. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking. Oh, Garrus. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, named Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. All right, hopefully that's everybody. 
All right, well, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do upgrades first. And I'm gonna actually finally just start doing some, like the boring ass mini game shit. Even though I have it skipped, I'm not even gonna show it on screen because whatever. Oh, we should also feed the fish. Let me do that before I forget. Uh, oh, they're dead. I wonder when I forgot to do it. Oh, I guess I forgot to do it before I went to do the IFF thing. All right, we're not buying more fish. Rep, it happened. The door in the hands is alive. This does need to be fed. I knew I'd forget at some point because I started it up after like a fucking week or something, and then like I didn't remember if I fit the fish yet. Uh, Samara wants a moment with you, Commander. Motherfucker. All right, so uh, press F to pay respects to the fish. Uh, especially Goldie, the best fish. Uh, I think we gotta go this way. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. You're dangerous too. As are you. But she is different. Morinth suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death? It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. Isn't she only deadly to the people she mates with? Each time she kills, she becomes stronger, smarter, and faster. And she's been doing this for 400 years. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster, she is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I needed to know this a long time ago. I present no danger to anyone besides my own children. And this is not easy to speak of, even 400 years after I learned it. My daughter's condition is my fault, 
and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. I need my crew to be good at their jobs and keep their personal lives personal. I understand. Nonetheless, if there is time, I would like to go to the Afterlife nightclub on Omega. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morin. All right, shit got real. All right, let's do the upgrades. If there's nothing else. Let's just pass by her. Fane would like to speak with you, Commander. Fuck. We'll do that next time. Fuck this, I'm just gonna do the upgrades right now. Cause I don't wanna spend forever doing this. All right, weapon upgrades. Yeah, we keep some damage, 20%. Fortunately, I have to open this up, UI up every time. AP every hit. Oh, good. 50% more damage. Pretty good. How much uh, things does this use? 40% upgrade. Alright, anything else here? Are you pistol critical? Huh. Alright, see. So damage protection. That'd be pretty nice, too. Hard shields. Ooh. Took 20% less damage. Alright. Uh, what else is here? Damage protection. Also pretty good. Uh, tech damage. Alright. Might as well. Alright. Nothing else here. Ship enhancements. Advanced mineral scanner. I mean, whatever. I'll just get it. I don't think it does anything because they've made it different. Also, I'm going to get the med belt right. I'm just not going to use it because apparently I may need to just have it. Uh, and heavy bone weave. 50% less damage from melee attacks. That might be good. Anything else here? Uh. Alright. I think it's basically it for now. So I'm gonna go do some planet scanning shit. Um, and if anything interesting kind of pops up. Thane would like to speak with you, Commander. Thane can fucking wait until next time. So, uh, we're just gonna scan planets from system to system, and if anything interesting pops up, I'll show you. Anomaly detected. Uh, there's an anomaly here. Welcome to it. Repeat, there's a piece of crab mech on this planet's surface. If you think you can get it to work, you're freaking welcome to it. Welcome to it. Repeat, there's a piece of crab probe away. Scans have found something. Well, we can land here. Uh, what if I just go back? Oh good, there's an anomaly there. Okay, we'll just- I'm gonna do the rest of it. So I'm just showing you that there was that. We'll do that next time. I have detected an anomaly. Another one. Magnetic shielding failure detected. Catastrophic solar radiation exposure probable. Magnetic shielding failure detected. Catastrophic solar radiation exposure probable. Magnetic shielding failure Alright, well. Another one we'll leave for next time. But we can just leave it for now. <laughs> what? 